Mayroon nga yung mga kautun sa ginoo. Kaya gila ko, gila ko pagpasalamat nga makaupol ko kamo sa liwat sa aton online devotion. Sa aton pagsugod, pangabay ko na lang sa pag-open sa inyong Bible in Matthew chapter 28 from verse 19 to verse 20. A very familiar verse. Kaya makita nga uh, pagbasa ko ini sa King James Version. Habasa ko lang sa ginoo, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Before kita magpadayon, mga may tanay, let's pray. Gracious God and Father, we pray for your guidance as we ponder upon your word. Help us, Lord God, to understand your word and apply it in our lives. Thank you, Gino. Kagsaliwat, balik naman siya pagdayon. Same pray. Amen. When is the first time you have heard about the Holy Spirit? Ako personally nakilala ko na batian ko Holy Spirit when I was very young and I always go to my neighbor's house no na kundi in for me sila ga pray and every time they pray they make mention of the Holy Spirit but when I sang natigulan na ko sa nakilala ko git kung sino ang Holy Spirit kaya isa sa passage niya na gamit sang Ginoo for me to understand how important the Holy Spirit is is this passage Kamanya, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So, dito ako na realize ko, ay, ay, importante mga galing ang Holy Spirit. And uh, this passage also tells me na ang Holy Spirit is God. Kaya nga muna nga Spirit, amunin siya ang nag-indwell sa aton. No? Kaya muna siya ang aton guide. Ang aton help no? ang aton comfort as mentioned in the scripture so makita naton it is so important that we know the spirit but in spite of the knowledge about the spirit why is it many christians still fail to walk in the spirit of god nga ang madamog yapon sa aton gaka fail sa pagsunod kag pag kaupod sa bala ng Espiritu. Today, I want to focus on three reasons uh, why most Christians fail to walk in the Spirit. Kaya mo na yung title na to, Why do Christians fail to walk in the Spirit? First, it is because we don't revere the Holy Spirit the same way we revered God. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13, ang basa po lang sa ganyan, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of rede uh, redemption. So makita natin today that the Holy Spirit has a very huge work, and that is to be the seal of a believer. Kaga siya ang magapuyo sa aton, kag siya ang mag-interpret sa scripture, siya ang mahimo sa madamo ng butang sa aton kag paagi uh, paagi sa iya madamo man kita mabutang na makahimaya sa Ginoo but why is it na madamo gyapon sa mga Kristohanon subong don't respect the Holy Spirit we know him as God we know him doctrinally we have known him as the uh, part of the Trinity But sadly, di natin siya gina-revered like the Father and the Son. Actually, uh, to be honest, it is when I became a pastor, sang na-realize ko how important for me to pray to directly to the Spirit. To talk to Him directly. Especially when I read the Bible. Especially when I could not really uh, close to understand what does it mean. I don't want to misinterpret the scripture, so I ask the Spirit, please, God, help me. Holy Spirit, please help me on how I could understand or explain it to me so that I won't be far away from what you really meant as you write this scripture. So, it's so important, no? nga kilalaho natin siya. Because madamog siya sa responsibility sa aton kabuhi. Kag part siya sa aton life. And apart from him, wala kita may mahimo. And that's the reason nga dapat natin man siya respetohon. 
Hataga naton siya value sa aton kabuhi. Because unless we recognize him as God, we recognize him as one of the most important parts sa aton kabuhi, hindi ta magkaupod sa iya. We fail kita to walk in the spirit of God because we don't believe and we don't acknowledge him, revered him the same way we revere the Father and the Son. Dapat ang tato na ito na nakautan sa kino. Dapat respeto ko natin siya. Give Him honor. Give Him praise. Appreciate that He is with us always. Appreciate that through Him we are sealed until the day of redemption. Let's see. Kautan sa kino. Revered Him in your life. Respect Him. Acknowledge Him. The same way that we acknowledge the Father and the Son. In Malachi chapter 1 verse 6, A son honoreth his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. And ye say, wherein we have despised thy name. This is a, a, a letter or a, a message. To us uh, in Malachi, nga kung diin, gina madamo sa mga priests at this time, disrespected God by, on, by giving Him mga mga uh, mga butang na hindi honorable. Uh, hindi siya, hindi, wala sa paghatag sa bili sa ginoo. So, if we recognize the Holy Spirit the same way we recognize God, then dapat amo man ang aton panulok sa bala ng Espiritu. If we believe that the Holy Spirit and the Father are one, then amuman na dapat ang aton panulok sa bala ng Espiritu. We fear Him, we honor Him, we respect Him, we give Him glory, we give Him honor because He deserves it all. The second reason nga uh, uh, we fail to walk in the Spirit, not only because we don't revere Him, but also we don't acknowledge His power as God. Again, like what I said, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are God. They are one. And whatever the, the, the Father could do, the Holy Spirit could do as well. What the, ever the Father could do, the, the Son could do as well. They are powerful, omnipotent. They are the one who holds all the power. Huh? Kung ano man ang ma-accomplish na ton, it's only through them. So when we look at the Spirit, we should always look at Him as God nga could do everything He wants to do. Because He could do it. And that's the reason nga ako katod sa ginoo nga gusto ni, ni, ni Pablo, ni Paul, nakita magkaupod continuously with the Spirit. Magwak kita kaupod sa iya always. Nga man. Because in Him, there is power. Because no matter how great you are, no matter how much you have accomplished in life, there is nothing you could do without the Spirit. And that's the reason, kung tanong na ito bala, in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, hamba niya direct, but you shall receive power of the Holy, after the Holy Ghost that is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Lalo notice nyo ba lang na before niya, nga palakdon ang mga disciples niya, magkanto sa field to preach and to become a witness, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria, ginapahulat niya anay ang mga disipulo niya sa pag-abot sa bala ni Spirito. Why? Because no matter how educated you are, no matter how eloquent, eloquent you are, no matter whatever position you have, experience you have, it is nothing if the Holy Spirit is not in you. Because He holds all the power that a Christian could do. 
If we want to do certain things para sa ginoo, it is the Spirit who could do it through you. If you want to know about the Scripture, it is the Holy Spirit who interpret the Scripture to you. If you want to deliver the Word of God, it is the Spirit who will guide His Word to the heart of people. I, I experienced it many times before, no? Nga, biskan ako personally, ma, ma ano ko gin, kapanong ko, how could I deliver the Scripture powerfully? I just pray, I always pray, no? And then, uh, oh God, please help me, guide me, kay tumud. I don't know how could I preach it so eloquently that people will understand or uh, so powerfully na ang um, people will be moved. And I realized na biskan anoy mo on ko, wala gid ko mahimo. Pero once you give up, it, you give it all, and allow the Spirit to take control, wala sang pagpusoon, hindi matanog sang pulong sang ginawa. I've experienced this so much, so many times in the past. Na madamo sa mga tao nga hindi as if as knowledgeable, as educated, as many people who are in the stage in the pulpit ginagamit sang Ginoo sa pag-reach out and to preach nagmadamo ang kalag ang gakilala sa Ginoo not because of how capable they are but because the Holy Spirit is at work in them but sa Ginoo if only a Christians or Christians will know how powerful the Holy Spirit and rely on the Spirit always sa ila kabuhi, then wala sang butang hindi kita mahimo. Wala sang butang kita nga hindi ma-accomplish para sa kadayawan sang gino. Notice na to, time and time again, through history of our fellow brethren, they went to from one place going to another not expecting anything no of course wala man sila amugi na nga capability but you have makita na to how powerful it is think about the 11 apostles no or the 12 apostles kunta no to bala ila background di man amo na very very good nga, good. No? Hindi man na, may gandang ilabak ron. Some of them are fishermen, tax collector. No? Hindi man gandang mo na ang kanami ang ilabak ron. Yet, they change the world. Not because of who they are, but because of what the Holy Spirit had done through them. That is how powerful the Spirit is. No? He could change the direction of one man going to hell, now going to heaven. Ang muna ka-powerful ng Holy Spirit. And if we acknowledge it, if we acknowledge the Holy Spirit, then we could do great things. And we could totally allow the Spirit to take control of us. Okay? So, the third reason nga ah, ang isa ka-Kristuhanon fail to walk in the Spirit it's the most simplest reason. It's because we don't want to know Him and we don't want to allow Him to take total control of us. It's simple. Hindi lang natin gusto ang iyaway. Gusto lang natin gyapon ang aton way. Gusto lang natin masunod ang aton gusto. Oh, that's why hindi kita magwalk in the spirit of God. Nami bala sa Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 and verse 18. Nami niya, this is this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 
So once you walk in the Spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. But if you love the lust of the flesh, then it is unlikely that you walk in the Spirit. It's simple. Nga hindi kita magsunod sa ginawa because we want to follow the flesh. Because ano, kama niya, for in verse 17, for the flesh lusted against the Spirit. Ang iandom is to be against the Spirit always. Hindi siya nagapaayon, hindi siya nagawiling ka magsabit the Spirit. And the Spirit against the flesh. Amo man na. And these are contrary to what the uh, contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot be uh, do the things that you would. But if you be uh, be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Simple. Nga hindi naton. Nga hindi kita magsunod, hindi kita magwalk, because ginapayon na naton yapon ang aton lawas. Ginapayon natin Japan ang aton gusto. But the thing is, I want you to know this, kaudan sa gino, that kung paayunan lang natin na itong kagalingon, it will always lead us to destruction. And that's the reason why Christians should always walk in the Spirit of the Lord so that we won't destroy our lives. So that we won't dishonored our God. The God who created us, the, the God who saved us through Jesus Christ, the God, the God that seals us. Why do we walk? We need to walk in the Spirit. It's because it is only through walking the Spirit we could truly please God. We could truly do His work. We could truly glorify and honor Him. Without the empowering of the Holy Spirit, we could not do anything that truly glorifies Him. But as you know, once you walk in the Spirit, you are under, you are like a faucet that is holding a vast amount of water connected to the sea because the, the Holy Spirit is but like a sea. Its power is like, like the sea, vast water. Now, if you will only allow yourself to be in uh, to be totally controlled by the Spirit, it will bring forth so much water out of you. The Holy Spirit will bring much so, so much fruit in you that many people that surround you will be blessed as well. Many will hear the gospel through you. Many will change their perspective in life because the Holy Spirit is using you in reaching them. And that's the reason why if you look back out of Sagino, why does the church in the New Testament church so productive that they have reached even the outermost part of the world is because they were totally moved. And they totally walk in the Spirit of God. And that's the reason nga amadamo sa churches subong na plant because of that wonderful walk of those Christians before us who follow the Spirit of God. So, if we want to continue the legacy, we need also to walk in the Spirit of so that we could prepare the people next to us, the next generation, uh, to please God. So, kabay pa ko sa ginawa. Whatever reason you have, why are you not walking the Spirit? I pray that you will change your heart, change your mind, 
because it's so important for you to give up your life and obediently follow God. Walk in the Spirit and you will honor and glorify the Father. Let us pray. Our gracious God and Father, thank you for your word. May your word be a blessing or it will be used as a wonderful blessing in our lives so that we could live a life, Lord God, that is truly pleasing before your eyes. Thank you, Gino. Pagsaliwat, kaya malikta mo sa iyong pagdaya. Kung siya pray, Amen.